Good morning, everyone at home. In our program today, we are going to talk about self-love and good habits. So we invited two really good friends, Fernanda and Jimena. So welcome, girls. How are you? Good morning. I'm fine. Thank you for your invitation. Hi, I'm very fine. And you? I'm really good. Thank you. So to start, in our first section, we have Jimena Gutierrez talking about health and to be more specific, natural medicine. Good morning, spectators. I will inform you a little bit about natural medicine. This is a broad concept that will allow us to treat a wide variety of complementary and alternative medicine, including herbal medicine, dietary supplements, homeopathy, acupuncture, neutral therapy, biomagnetism, acupressure, and other many alternative medicines. I like this alternative because I think this is very functional, sometimes individually function very well, and sometimes if you have like a more serious illness or disease, you can complement it with chemical medicine. Now, I will like you to answer me some questions. Well, will you try some of these methods? Mm, yeah, maybe I would like to try acupuncture because it's like the one that I know. But at the same time, it scares me because I'm not related with this kind of medicine. Well, in my case, I would like to try maybe homeopathy because I have heard that some of them work. And also, I think that they're so related with our thoughts and with everything talking about our brain. So I think that they may function for me. And do you know some other? No. No. Well, there are other habits that you can follow to keep your body with good health and good energy. And now Valentina is going to talk us more about this. So my section is related with good habits to have a great health. So when we wake up, it's always recommended to stretch a little bit. Why? Because we have passed a lot of hours in the same position and over the bed. So it's important to stretch and also to drink one cup or two cups of water to rehydrate your body. Remember that the most important meal in our day is breakfast. So we must eat every time breakfast, maybe bread, eggs, yogurt, something really good to our health. And remember that caffeine is not that good, so uh, avoid drinking coffee. You can replace it with, I don't know, maybe natural use. And about half an hour or 45 minutes, you can drink a healthy smoothie or you can eat some fruits. In the morning, we should take um, the bath. Why? This is because when you wake up and you take your bath, you can feel um, fresh, so you will be very active. Uh, drink a lot of water. Girls, do you drink water? Yeah, I really like water. And actually, like, I always have my bottle in here with me because I think it is very important. Yeah, I'm constantly drinking water during the day, but I don't like going too much to the bathroom, so I try to not drink, like, in periods of time, like, in different periods of time. Well, that is really good for you. And talking about sleeping, where it is important to have a good schedule, like to go to bed at the same time and wake at the same time every day, even on weekends and on vacations. And you must sleep about seven hours. And if you're not sleepy, um, do not go to bed because that won't function, you won't sleep and also have a good night routine, like reading or... What about you? Do you have a good night routine? Mm, well, I have to say that I have a good night routine because, like, I go to bed and I watch Netflix, like, three hours before I, I sleep. So, at the end, I go to bed, like, at 1 p.m. Yeah, me too. I always use my phone before I go to sleep and I think that's really bad. But 
I do common things like brush my teeth and that kind of stuff. Well, it is really good that you mentioned that because it is not recommended to use our cell phone 30 minutes before going to bed, like watching Netflix, as you said, or watching social media, checking it. So keep in mind, do not do it. And also it is important to challenge yourself. This will improve uh, your activity. You will feel better and you will be proud of you. So our next section, we have Fernanda with self-care. Okay, so as Valentina said, I would like to talk a little bit about self-care because I think it is a very important part uh, of our lives and if we feel good with ourselves we can feel good with the others and also like we will have a better life with more energy so before i start with the skincare routine that i would like to share i want to ask you girls if you have like a skincare routine or if you take care of your skin yes i clean my face twice a day when i wake up and before i go to bed i use from sunscreen during the day and use some cleaners. I regularly do like masks for my face. I have dry skin, so I have never have like acne problems or that kind of stuff. Well, in my case, I don't take a lot of care about my skin. So I think that I much be more careful. Yeah, maybe you can take some advices from my routine. So first, I would like to say like in the morning, it is important like to clean your face because when you're sleeping, uh, your face has a lot of dirt. So it is important to wash your face at morning. So for this, I use this cleanser from Biore. And I would like to say like all the brands I'm going to mention are brands that are collaborating with us. So first, this is the cleanser I use every morning that is from Biore and it cleans uh, really good. Also, you can take a bath of morning as Valentina said, it will help you to be more active uh, in the morning. After I wash my face, what I like to do is to use this Mayu Badescu spray and it has like rose water. So this uh, will help you to also like moisturize your face and to make you feel, and it will make you feel more awake. And well, the most important thing is to use a sunscreen. As Hime said, it is very important because you will expose your face and the whole, your whole body to the sun. So it is important to take care of these details because if you don't, you will have different problems in the future. And finally, you can moisturize your face as well. In my case, I use this cream from SCI Vice, so I like to apply it in um, the whole face, but especially under the eyes because it's a uh, zone that is very dirt, uh, yeah, dirt. And well, it is important to take care of the skin at night as well, but if you wash your face at morning, it is not necessary to wash it at night. What I do at night is that first I use uh, this toner from Bioland, and this toner what like it can substitute the cleanser because it also cleans your face, but it helps you also to remove makeup if you use it. And a very important thing is like if you use makeup, you need to remove it at night because if you don't, it will can it can cause acne problems. And at night, I also uh, moisturize my face with the same cream I use in the morning. Another thing that is important is to keep your lips moisturized because if you don't, uh, they will feel very bad. So for this, I use, I use this scrub that it is like sugar. So you just have to apply it, apply it as a lis lipstick and yeah, it, it will left your lips so soft. And I also do like a different routine two times a week because these two times a week I use an apricot scrub in my face uh, to make like a deeper uh, clean and I add this reactivating volcanic mud mask 
you can use any mask you like. So if you do this twice a week, uh, you will feel like your skin feels better. Then uh, it is also important to take care of the whole body, not just your, the skin of your face. So you can use a moisturizing cream from the rest of your body. And in my case, I use this from SDI, SDI Pies that is made of coconut. So it is really good. And yeah, basically these are my, my advices for you to have a better skin. That was so interesting. Thank you for that tips. I will take them into account. So thank you very much, both of you girls, to be in our program. And you at home, I will wait you tomorrow at nine o'clock. Don't forget it. Okay, so in all of you can follow us in our social media. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye.